If you are planning to rent out power tools, kits inflatables, boat rentals, you name it, you can rent out anything you want with this WordPress plugin. It's called MotoPress Booking Calendar, and it's super easy to use. Let me go ahead and show you how right now. One of the coolest features on MotoPress is the free version. The free version is actually useful, and that's what I'm gonna show you on this video. Now, if you wanna jump into the pay plan, yes, it does have extra features, but I think the free version is totally usable and more than enough unless you need those little extra things okay now i've already installed this plugin on my wordpress site but if you need to do so go ahead and jump into plugins add new plugin and search for motopress booking calendar scroll down a bit and you're gonna find it it's this one motopress booking calendar install activate it and you're gonna have a brand new menu here on the left that says calendars now in this case the first thing we want to do is create a calendar for the things that we want to rent out now, the cool thing about this is that it doesn't work like a hotel booking or a house rental. This is meant more to rent out anything that you want. So for example, if you have power tools and you wanna rent those out, if you have kids inflatables, the tables for parties, whatever, this is fantastic. Plus you'll be able to rent them out straight from the form that you're going to build right here. So it's gonna be automated per se, instead of taking a call, writing it down, checking the calendar to see if you actually have that date book. Well, this is going to do it for you and it's going to be way more organized. Now, first thing you want to do is create a calendar. So in this case, I'm going to say kids inflatables. I know that this is really popular and it's like a cool business that you can have rent out those kid toys, etc., for the parties. And it's fantastic. And you can say I have multiple units that can be booked. That means that if you have several of the same ones or several kind of different ones, this is the option that you need. But if you're just going to do one, type of rental for the kids inflatables, turn this off, okay? Then we have the booking type. Is it gonna be nightly bookings, daily bookings, or hourly bookings? So depending on the thing that you wanna rent out is the one that you wanna check right here. In this case, I'm gonna do daily bookings since this is for kids inflatables. So let's go ahead and continue. Here we go, we are now located in the calendar to create our first inventory of the things that we want to rent out. In this case, I'm gonna click on the plus button because I wanna add my first variables. It's gonna be the small hassle. Here we go, details, I'm just gonna copy this out. Here we go, here we go for the image. I already pre-uploaded once. Here we go, I'm gonna select this one. Let's go ahead and continue. And the unit label is going to be small castle one, and I'm gonna add another unit. Here we go, and I'm gonna say that this one is castle two, and I am going to save it. So here is my first type of booking that I've created. Then I have my inventory right here. So castle one and castle two. Are these going to be available every single day or different days? So up here we have a calendar where we can just go ahead and highlight the ones that we want to select as available or not available. In this case, they are available. And I'm gonna say that these dates right here, let me save this. Here we go, these dates are not available. Let's go ahead and save this. And for castle two, will be available all these days too. So let's go ahead and save this. And we're gonna say that Monday won't be available. Let's go ahead and save it. So we are making available certain days and some others not, okay? Then we have the price. So right now we are viewing Wednesday through Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So I'm gonna say Wednesday through Friday, the rental is gonna be $100. Here we go. For Saturday and Sunday, it's gonna be 150. It's gonna be more expensive. And if I know that a holiday is coming up, I'm gonna make that more expensive. So in this case, I'm gonna set that to 102, just for testing purposes. You're kind of getting the idea of how this is going to work. So here is the first variation, which is the small castle. I can add another variation here for different situations. So the next one I wanna add is like the water castle. Let me go ahead and select it. It's this one right here. And I'm gonna name this water castle. And I'm not gonna go into details for this, but I do recommend that you use the details to mention the size, the amount of kids that can play in this, whatever, that you can set that up there, okay? And in this case, I'm going to set all these to available. It's gonna save this. And then I'm gonna set the price for this for 250. Let's go ahead and save it. Here we go, we are now done. Now you have the option to make it this way or you have the option to do a bulk edit. So if you need to change the date here to, you know what, the whole year, let's go ahead and add the calendar right here, that is possible. And then select the apply for selected days. So for example, I can say 
October 15 to 2026 and just Saturday and Sunday raise the price and I can do so by doing it right here by selecting the available or not and set the price to all that apply right here in this case for example I would turn these off and just leave Saturday and Sunday to raise the price those days and make it available so you have the option to do this manually or the bulk edit which is pretty cool right now once this is done we're able to view the actual calendar so let's go back into calendar let's go ahead and view this one which is the kids inflatables here we go we got our calendar available right here and i'm gonna say that the 18th through 21 is going to show me what's available in those days and remember we turn one of these off during the weekend so let me go ahead and select the 22 to the 24 and now we have these two options because one of them was not available during sunday remember we turned off that day so here we go i can go ahead and now book one of these so i can see for example i want to book the water castle i want to book it now here we go it's now been added and i can go to checkout and go through the checkout process to reserve that rental so you know you're getting the idea right how easy this is and practical because you know you have a calendar that's going to be organized that's going to lock out days when it's rented so it's really cool right now there's other features available here that i want to show you like the bookings once you once you start receiving bookings we're going to be able to view them right here in this case we have one booking and it's confirmed it's for a power tool here i can edit this in case someone canceled or for other reasons let's just say that they added manually something else i can do a quick edit right here so i'll be able to view all my bookings i'll be able to view my payments over here in this case no payments because this is just a test site i can create a form for this so in forms let's go ahead and create one let's go ahead and add a form we are able to build our form right here we have the available elements here on the left I can change the currency and I can change the currency position. So depending on the country, you need to change the position there. You can also add notifications to this. So you can set all that up right here. Then we got categories that are going to help us organize. Plus, it's going to help you with SEO purposes. So you can create here the categories really easily. And you got your notifications. And last but not least, these settings that I do recommend you take some time to set this up, especially the payment section. Okay. So the first option here is booking confirmation mode. So confirm automatically, and that would just go straight and book and no payment needed by admin manually. That means that you have to manually approve it. So you'll get that booking, but you'll have to manually approve. And the other one is confirmation upon payment. So you get that payment and it's going to be confirmed, which would be the best option. In my opinion, you got the reservation received page. So select the page where you want the reservation to be the currency in general, the currency position. The emails for the administrator, the from email, the name, etc., that are going to be sent out for the confirmations and all that. The, the footer text, the base color, you can change this depending on your branding and your payment options are going to be available over here on the payments tab. Now you have two available general settings, which is the pay on site. So once you receive the uh, rental, you pay, okay, or by Stripe. That means that they're going to pay in advance. So you have two available options to get started right away. So definitely check it out. I think that is a fantastic option. The free plugin is highly capable to start your rentals right away. And if you want the additional features from the paid plugin, well, go check it out. I'll be leaving the link to both of these, the free version and the paid version, and you decide which one you want to grab. So start making some money by renting out whatever you like. And that's a wrap for this video.